But that was, that's a three-stage progression that I would do with most of my young kids. Um, T-work into flips into live toss. And that is a really good hitting session for anyone and can be done by anyone. G'day guys, this is Matt down here at RBI Australia. I just wanted to um, give you, you guys a couple of quick tips on what you could do with your young player if you're down here using the cage, uh, if you're not quite sure. Um, just give you a, a rundown of like a, an easy progression or some simple things I would do with my young teams or young players. Um, so when you're down here, you're not necessarily going to want to use the pitching machines for the younger guys. You might use the Zuka if they're up around the 7, 8, 9, 10. But um, a lot of good work can be done without any machines at all. Um, so first thing I do is grab some of these eight and a half inch reduced injury balls. So they're the ones up the back that are just a little bit smaller and they're softer than the other balls, the real baseballs. This is be what they use in um, T-ball right up to Zuka. Uh, they don't start using full size baseballs until they start playing player pitch. So use these eight and a half inch balls. Um, your first thing to do would be to use the tee. So if you're wondering how to get your child to set up properly for the tee, to hit, to be able to have the most success, you want your kid to be lined up with their front foot in line with the front of the plate here, okay? And their back leg is just wherever it is they feel strong, nice and strong, okay? You want them to have their hands up about in line with their mouth, Alrighty, and usually you want this back elbow to be cocked up a little bit. I like to tell them like there's a little man sitting on their elbow. If they go like that, he's going to fall off. You keep it up like there so he can stand there. So it's a nice strong position. Okay, don't worry about this too much if you are just a mum or a dad and you're trying to come down for a hit with your kid. Just try and remember to line up with the front of the plate, be nice and strong, hands up. Okay, nice simple instructions. When you set your tee up for the child, okay, you'll see on the front of the tee, there's a little bit of a concave on the front of the triangle of the tee. That needs to be up, okay? If you have that the other way around, it's gonna be wobbling all around like that, okay? So we want that one to be concave up, okay? The tee wants to be set up anywhere about three to five inches in front of the plate because we want our, we want our players to be hitting the ball out in front of the plate, okay? We don't want them to be set up, don't want the tee set up here because they're gonna be jammed up trying to hit the ball and you're, you're trying to help them with their hitting and all they're doing is getting really jammed up. So always remember that your tee needs to be out in front of the plate, okay? It's not an exact science, just get it out in front of the plate so they can extend their arms and hit the ball out in front of them like that, okay? So just simple. Once you've got that there, put the ball on them. If you want some ways, they really need to be keeping their eye on the ball at that age. It's one of the real tough things to get into kids. So a good trick is if you find the logo on the ball, put the logo facing backwards and tell them, look at that R on the wrecking ball. I want you to just hit that R, okay? Or you might say to them, pick one of those little stitches and I just want you to hit one of those little stitches, okay? And that way they'll really focus and they'll really just hit that one little stitch. Okay, so to recap, foot in front of the front of the in line with the front of the plate, hands up. Okay, strong swing to a tee that's out in front of the plate here, and get them to focus on a small part of the ball. Simple, and just get them to do reps, hitting, hitting, hitting. You can't hit the ball too many times off a tee. All right, if you do want to um, advance that a little bit, you can start working with an outside pitch, so you can put the tee on the outside corner of the plate, alrighty? So that way you see how, how now the ball is a little bit deeper, it's closer to the plate because when we hit the outside pitch, we let the ball travel a bit more. And then you can also practice inside pitches. So you put the ball a bit further out in front of the player on the inside in line with the inside of the plate, but it's further out in front because when we hit inside pitches, we hit the ball out in front, okay? So you can practice, that. that's some other little drills you can do with the kids if you like to. Alrighty, so the other things we can do when we're in here hitting at RBI, we'll get rid of the tee, we'll take our bucket of balls up here, make sure to ask for the fans if it gets too hot like it is now, so I'm sweating. Um, so we've got our L-frames as well, okay? So a good progression after that. If you're, play if you're working with a kid who's playing, say, Zuka or live ball, uh, a good progression after some tee work would be flips. So when I say flips, 
I move the L frame up a little bit closer, I flip it around like this, because I'm a right hander. If you're a left hander, you'd put it on the other side because we're going to flip the ball like this. Okay, nice simple feeds so that they can get used to getting their timing. Okay, so they can get used to hitting the ball in flight. Alrighty, so all I would do like this, I like to do when I flip, I do the same motion each time. So I'll come like this, then I'll one, two, flip. Try and throw it over the plate though. Alright, just aim for a spot right in the middle of that ta target back there. That's what those targets are helpful for when you're doing throwing or flipping. Just aim for those targets. Again, one, two, flip. Okay, you do that same timing over again. That allows them to time their load and hit the ball straight back up to them. They mostly want to uh, be concentrating on hitting the ball straight back up the middle. Okay, but again, just like we did with the tee, you can work on throwing some inside, having them pull the ball, hit the ball out in front, pull it into the net here, or you can throw some outside, tell them to let the ball travel, hit the ball the other way. So after we do flips, we can progress to throwing live ball. So for me, a right-hander, I spin the net around again, so now I'm going to throw over the top of the net, like this. So I'm gonna throw just like this. If you can get to doing this, you don't have to be able to throw really well. The trick to throwing good BP for the kids is don't move the net back too far, okay? Even myself, I've thrown my whole life. I still don't throw, you don't wanna be throwing full distance. Just get yourself here, nice easy, so you can just throw, it's nice and easy. And again, aim for the target, alrighty? And don't be too hard on yourself, okay? Leaving a bad pitch is just as important as hitting a good pitch. So the kids need to see good pitches and bad pitches. So don't put too much pressure on yourself and get the yips when you're trying to throw to your kids. Just, and again, try and use the same timing each time so that then they can time it and they can hit off you. So one, two, boom. Again, I start with my hands together so it's like a pitcher. One, two, boom. Easy, okay? Just nice and simple. If you can, you can start throwing inside and outside with those as well. You can mix up speeds. If you are someone who can throw a little bit of a curveball or something, you can throw those in there as well as the kids get older and make it harder. Challenge the kids. But that was, that's a three-stage progression that I would do with most of my young kids. Um, tee work, into flips, into live toss. And that is a really good hitting session for anyone and can be done by anyone, okay? Good to see you down here at RBI.